Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a short little vlog because I'm off to London again uh, to see a show again, you know, the usual thing that I always do. But today I am going to see the play at the Harold Pinter Theatre called Betrayal. And this is exciting because Tom Hiddleston and Charlie Cox are both in this play together. Tom Hiddleston. Tom Hiddleston Loki, a guy who's been one of my favourite actors since I was like 12 years old, Tom Hiddleston <laughs> and Charlie Cox, who plays Matt Murdock in Daredevil, in a play, together, and I'm going to see it. <laughs> Can y'all tell I'm excited? This is literally like the most insane thing I've ever done. I'm really about to see Tom Hiddleston and Charlie Cox in person, on stage together, acting live, and I literally, my, it's not sinking in, and when it does, I'm gonna be a mess and it's gonna happen when I'm in the theater and they walk on stage. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I'm going to London today to see that. I'm seeing them act on stage and I am like so, oh my God, this is a dream come true. I am so excited, you guys. This is gonna be incredible. So let's go. Yo, I'm in London. I'm at Oxford Street because I want to go to the Disney store. I also wanted to go to H&B, but it's closed. It's starting to rain, which is annoying because I checked the forecast and it said it wasn't going to rain, so I didn't bring my coat. I feel so betrayed right now. Get it? Because I'm seeing betrayal tonight. Also, I did some Googling. Turns out the H&B on Oxford Street is closed permanently. Excuse me, it's like one of the best shops in London. I can't believe we let HMV go bankrupt. We have failed as a country. You guys, HMV was like the best brand of shop. How could we do this to them? <laughs> Let's just take a moment to appreciate Lynn Manuel Miranda's rapping. The most upsetting sight. We have failed HMV. I'm now heading towards Piccadilly Circus to go to Waterstones and I might try to find the theatre early and stuff. This street is more expensive than my life. Do you know what the best feeling is? Finding out that you have 10 pounds on your Waterstones points card, so I technically have 30 quid to spend on books. <laughs> I was not mentally prepared to come across the real Haymarket. I miss Heathers. I haven't been here since I saw Heathers for the last time. I miss it a lot. It's my girl. Oh, hello. Oh, it's starting to sink in now. Found stage door. <laughs> Just my luck, isn't it? Found the theatre already starting to get emotional, like it's not sinking in. It's, it, <laughs> what is gonna happen tonight? Next time I see Les Mis, it will be in August and it will be in that theatre. Okay, I'm back here. I'm heading to the Forbidden Planet. And I'm going to another Waterstones because. in the theatre and I am not ready. It still isn't sinking in. So it's literally all gonna hit me the second they walk on stage and I'm gonna be a mess. I'm so excited, y'all. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh. Oh, you know what? Can you take a picture of this? Sorry, guys. Thank you so much. Hey. Hey.
Okay, waited to see Tom leave, and now I'm just gonna head home. This is so stressful, there's maintenance work, so I had to get a replacement bus. I had to get like a train and then a bus, and now I've gotta get another train. And I've never been to these stations before. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, I'm back in Southampton. Which, speaking of which, they mentioned Southampton in betrayal, I think Charlie said it. <laughs> I nearly fell out of my seat when he said it. I was like, oh my God, that's where I live. I don't even know what to say. Like that was crazy. Being a musical theater student at uni has very much changed theater trips for me because I just find myself analyzing everything, everything in that play from the writing, the staging, the acting, everything in it. It was so clever, so, so clever. Hello, welcome to the outro of the vlog. We finally made it to the outro. You can tell it's been ages by the color of my hair, but pretend it's like the day after. So, Betrayal. So obviously I went to see Betrayal specifically because of Tom Hiddleston and Charlie Cox. The whole cast were incredible. The play itself, like I was not expecting to like the play as much as I did. Going into it, I was expecting actually maybe not to like the play. Plays aren't usually my thing other than Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. You know, I'm a musical girl. So I tend to prefer something with singing in. And I, I kind of looked into what Betrayal was about before we went in and it's about like, uh, marriage and affairs and stuff which you know it's not really something i'm into so i wasn't expecting much from the play but oh my god i was completely blown away like this is a good play and i would happily go and see another production of it no matter who the cast was in because i just loved the play so much so i'll show you some things that i bought on the day so with the theater i got a program and a poster so this is the program very very fancy got all three of them on there it's got a bunch of stuff and photos in it you know i always i always get my programs so i got that and then i also got a poster which is essentially the same photo but in poster because i was like you know what where else am i gonna get a poster with tom hiddleston and charlie cox on unless it's like a low-key daredevil fan art exactly so i was like we get in that. So I got that. As you saw during the day before the show, I went to a bunch of shops, including Waterstones, and I did find the betrayal script. And I actually bought it. I bought the script before I saw the play because I realized that I would probably end up wanting to buy the script after the play. If I liked the play, I'd want the script. And I'm glad I did because for however long it took after, I've actually been annotating the script. Let me find a good page to show you. Oh, I wrote a lot on that page. But I have gone through with a pencil and annotated this script with notes about what they did in the in the play when I went to see it and like how they delivered certain lines and what the staging was like and that sort of thing. And I went through and did that for the whole script because this play, like for starters, the writing of it is so clever. The way it's done, it kind of goes back in time. It, it's so clever. And then the actual staging of this production itself was also, I don't know what to say other than really clever. It it was all so like obviously because i've started doing musical theater at university we've been taught how to analyze scripts and how to analyze productions so when, whenever i go and see a play or musical i'm sat there kind of analyzing it um subconsciously and i was doing that so much and for betrayal and there's just so it's so clever i don't know how else to word it but like the lighting the staging the movement the dialogue just everything about it is done for a reason and there's oh they, mm, it's just Ooh, you need to see it to understand. It was so clever and I loved it so much. So I got the script and I went and annotated the script because I don't want to forget what this production was like because it was so good. And as soon as this play is revived, no matter who the cast is, I will definitely be going to see it because, oh, I loved it so much. I loved it so much. <laughs> it was also really cool seeing it at the Harold Pinter Theatre itself. It's a really nice theatre. One thing that kind of blew my mind a bit is that they didn't have mics. I don't know, maybe I should have seen that coming because they didn't have mics when I went to see The Convert. Is it just a thing that plays generally don't use mics? I don't know, but we were in a full theatre with like several tiers of seating and they didn't have mics, but I could hear them perfectly. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one who is well impressed by that, probably because my main improvement in every performance I ever do at university is pr 
projection. So I know for a fact that if I was in that, you would not be able to hear me unless I had a mic. So I'm really impressed by that. But you know, I don't know what you guys think of that fact. I was like, whoa. It took me way too long to realize as well. Like most of the play, I was like, yeah, listening to it. And then like partway through, I was like, hang on a second. They don't have mics. Why? <laughs> and it blew my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. I think one day I'm going to try and write kind of review of this play based on my annotations. It's been quite a while since I saw it, but hopefully I, I, I don't forget about it because uh, that's kind of why I wrote my notes so I wouldn't forget what it was like. I'm gonna might, I might write something about it because it was so good, so good, so good I tell you. If there's ever a production of Betrayal near you, go and see it. Doesn't matter who the cast is, where it is, go and see it please, I beg you. It is such a beautiful piece of theatre. It is so good. But yeah, so that was kind of my thoughts on the play, sort of. Bit of a jumbled mess in my head at the moment but I just, I loved it. <laughs> I had a very good day hanging out in London during the day then I went and saw the play unfortunately they didn't stage door but they were all ill in the cast um they all had colds that week so tom didn't stage door and then charlie only came out and saw a few people before going back in because that's the thing all of them kiss each other in this play the three principal actors all kiss each other so if one of them's ill that's it they're all ill but i got to see tom hiddleston leave the theater which was really awesome i saw tom hiddleston and charlie cox in person oh my god <laughs> and yeah just getting to see them act in person on stage stage in something unlike anything else I've ever seen them do was awesome like oh that was so cool and I still can't believe it happened so I had the most amazing time it was a wonderful day and yeah I think that's everything I will leave the vlog here I hope you guys have enjoyed if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video goodbye